Hello everyone and welcome back to our video series. My name is Syed Abidi and in this two-part video I'm going to talk about another type of leakage current test called the patient leakage test. And before we go any further I would like to remind everyone that in the past we have created videos on introduction to leakage current, earth leakage, touch current and we highly recommend that you guys view those videos. So in order to understand the patient leakage test it's first important to know what are patient connections and how are they defined in the IEC 60601-1 medical device standard. So per the standard, patient connections are defined as any points of a med medical device that make contact or come in contact with the patient. For example, probes of an ECG device. And the patient leakage current test is designed to measure any leakage current that can flow from these patient connections through the patient either back to ground or to other patient connections when the device is powered on at 110% of its rated voltage and by simulating fault conditions such as open neutral, open ground or reverse polarity. So let's take a look at how the medical device standard requires us to measure patient leakage and in doing so we're going to take a look at two different examples. The first one is for a single patient connection and we're going to measure the leakage current flowing from that patient connection going through the measuring device circuit which is simulating the human body impedance and back to reference or ground. So as you can see in the image, the, in this case the measuring device circuit is placed between the patient connection and the low side of the power supply and this would ensure that any current that flows from this patient connection goes through the measuring device circuit back to the reference. So in the second example, we will take a look at how leakage current can be measured between two patient leads or patient connections, or in other words, patient auxiliary current. In this case, the measuring device circuit is placed between two different patient connections to ensure that it measures the current that can flow between these two patient connections. And once again, we will simulate this under uh, the fault conditions that we talked about and the device shall be powered on at 110% of the rated voltage. Furthermore, the different types of patient connections can be categorized as either B type, C type, BF type or CF type. And per the IEC 60601-1 medical device standard, the maximum allowable leakage current readings for the patient leakage tests for these types of patient connections may vary. So it's always a good idea to reference this standard. In the next part, we will be in our lab and we will perform a few different patient leakage test steps on a class one medical device.